Bibi Aisha Habibi is in her 60s and needs a little help getting up the hill these days. But appearances can be deceptive. Better known by her nom de guerre, Kafdar, which means the dove, she has a fearsome reputation after successfully defending her village against Soviet, Taliban and Afghan government forces. And in a country dominated by men, some of her enemies were not even aware she was a woman. Mullah Baqi, a Taliban commander, called me and said, I will f*** your wife, Commander Kaftar. I told him, my men will do all of that and more to your wife. I told him, if you attack and detain me, people would say you should be ashamed of yourself to arrest a woman. But if I detain you, people would say that Mullah Baqi, who was flying so high, is detained by a woman. Kaftar's grandson seems unfazed by her tough talk, and so do her men. She's been leading them for 35 years. I don't remember what year it was exactly. I took up arms when the Soviets came to our area. How did it happen? When the Soviets came, they landed commandos on the hilltops here, and they were moving forward, crushing everything in their pass. Today, Kaftar is travelling with a police escort. She's negotiating with the Afghan authorities on making her 150 armed men part of the official security forces, with her in command. Some locals accuse her of being a gangster who terrorises villages. But she says she stands for law and order and protection for women. This video of a woman being stoned to death in the central province of Ghor caused outrage across Afghanistan and around the world when it was made public in early November. Kaftar insists she would have prevented it. I watched it on television. It tore my heart into thousand pieces. I was lost for words because of what was done to that girl. If I was in that region, that girl would not have been stunned. Kaftar is evasive about how she came to lead a small army of men in such a patriarchal society. But she's blunt about the prospects for Afghanistan. This war cannot be solved through peace deals. The solution to this war comes firstly from God and secondly from this beautiful Kalashnikov. I don't believe that the Taliban would ever change or that this issue could be resolved through talks. As she sits down to eat, another grandson by her side, Kaftar is, as usual, surrounded by men. She says if she'd been educated, she could have been president by now. Instead, she holds court in her living room. Grandmother and warlord.